Hey y'all, so it's Lindsay the MS Lady. I wanted to let you know that today we're going to be talking about a spinal tap and let you know that it's just not that scary. So here's what happened to me when I had to have mine done. Um, I went into the hospital and I had an x-ray guided one, naturally being a bigger chick. Um, they wanted to be a little bit more sure about where they were going. On some of the skinnier folk, um, they can see the spine a little bit better. So on some people, they can do them right in the office and you don't even have to go into the lab, or into the lab, into the hospital, stuff like that. Um, but for me, I went to the hospital, checked in with radiology, they wheeled me in on a gurney, kept me flat, I got up on this big um, table, it was mostly plastic, and they made me face tummy side down. I had two nurses who were getting things ready um, and didn't even let me see the prep tray really. Um, I never really got to see the needles or anything. Uh, I had one nurse though that I, me being a total nerd, I was kind of like, oh, look at this, look at that. So when she could tell that I was really comfortable with it, she would do a few things like turn around some monitors and be like, hey, you know, this is this nerve or yeah, you know, I turned on the x-ray and this is where this goes and this is part of your back. So if you're groovy with it, they'll be pretty groovy too. Um, other than that, I don't think that they're too keen about showing you the needles. Now, I made a big mistake about going and Googling everything. I think that, in my opinion, you can scare yourself out of it a lot by going and seeing just how big everything is. Don't, don't freak yourself out. Don't worry yourself about that. Um, the big thing is, is just remain calm and know that it goes by really quick. So the longest part of it was just waiting for the doctor to come in the room. Um, I had a third girl who was learning, she was a learning nurse, and man, she could hold on to that hand like nobody's business. So she held on to my hand the whole time. By the time the doctor came in, um, it was a lady, and she said, if you feel any discomfort, let me know immediately. At one point, about five, six minutes in, it did feel like a really bad pinch, and it went all the way down my leg. So I told her, and she said, okay and dropped the table where my head was aiming up and my legs were aiming down. And it didn't even last that long. Um, she moved the needle a little bit, said that dropping the table helps with part of the process. And uh, it did, it felt tons better. Um, she moved it immediately, it was not that bad. Even at the end of it, she goes, do you wanna help a little something to help with the pain? Um, and I think she gave me some hydrocodone, I think, if I remember right, something like that. And so what they do is they wheel you back to your own room, they keep you, at least the facility I was at, kept you for four hours, um, and what they do is they will keep you flat to prevent a spinal headache. Um, from what I was told, a spinal headache is worse than any migraine you have ever had or ever will have. So while they keep you flat, they will keep feeding you sodas and potato chips. They want you to have all this salt to help retain fluid, to help fight against that migraine. Um, so live it up, that'll be the one and only time really that a medical professional will force soda down your throat. Yay! Uh, so it's, it's really a wham ma'am, thank you ma'am, and the longest part is just waiting out the spinal headache. Do not freak out. A spinal tap is not a big deal. It is not something that you wanna go, yay, I want 10 of those in a year. But if you have one, it is not a freak out session. Don't worry. This is Lindsay, the MS lady, telling you, don't worry, you've got it, be happy. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.